What's up guys, it's Chris back with an unboxing. Today we are unboxing another Timex. And this was a very recent release from Timex that I've actually been waiting on and they finally released it. This came in a much larger box so I removed it. Um, so this is weird, the little user manual is outside of the box. I'm not sure if that's normal. And really what we have here is just a cardboard box, uh, nothing much, just says Timex on the outside, nothing else really in there. And here we are, and you can see right off the bat it is an S1. This is the new S1, the automatic that they just literally released, and it has very similar packaging to like an Apple Watch. Uh, Giorgio Gali S1 Automatic. So, very similar packaging to a Apple Watch or a cell phone, really. So there you go. A little bit of foam here. Put that to the side. Giorgio Gali. And there you go. It says the most Timex Timex ever made and some pictures of the watch okay and just leave that there it has some of the specs on here and here it is wow this is really a very good looking watch let's get some of this plastic off and see what it looks like so far it feels pretty weighty in the hand, so it's pretty heavy, and uh, it feels like it's pretty well made. I don't feel any CNC sharp edges or anything like that. Now what drew, drew, well, what drew me to this watch is that I believe Timex is definitely trying to take on micro brands head on and they are I think really very good in a very good position to take on micro brands just because they can uh, they they have a really good history and that is something that most micro brands don't have and Taking a look at this watch, just look at the side of the watch. It's really finished very, very, very well. Um, and it's on both sides. You can see there's sort of striations in there. Uh, it almost looks like the case of the 1159 by AP. But I, I would say this is actually better looking. Uh, head on, it looks like a classic watch. It has a very beautiful metallic silver dial. That's a little uh, synthetic ruby um, or jewel that, that would go into the movement, and they put that into the dial to make it look, uh, to, to fill out the space a little bit better. Timex just very simply printed on the dial, and beautiful hands that are hollowed out. Um... And applied indices, a really big dial, thin bezel, and you have a domed mineral crystal on here, and a really nice crown. And they put a Miyota movement in here with a Timex rotor, and you can see there they also did that that theme of striation across the case back and this as you can see here is a easy deploy strap but this is Timex's proprietary strap and it's a rubber strap it's very soft and it feels very well made and you can see the strap actually continues that space along the entire strap it looks really really good and I'm not sure what this is I just noticed this little brush and I can imagine maybe it's to clean the inside of the case um, or the strap 
when it gets dirty. I guess that's why they give you this little brush. It'll be something very good to hold on to. And what's great about this strap is just this right here. When you put it on and you size it, you could then put it through the extra keeper. And once you get it through, you then have a little sort of button that holds down the extra part of the strap. All in all, this is a really beautiful watch. Uh, it's 41 millimeters on the website. They had it listed at, f at 40 millimeters for some reason. And I actually sent an email to Timex and said, hey guys, you're selling a 41 millimeter watch and you're selling it as 40 millimeters. I, honestly, this is an immensely good-looking watch. I, I've i gotten a lot of good-looking watches in recently, and Timex have been two of them. This is my second Timex that I've purchased. My first one was the Q-Time. They're going to be releasing another Q-Time actually tomorrow. Today is the 19th. I just received this. I'll be releasing this video uh, either later today or tomorrow on the 20th. And I uh, I will be taking a look at that new Q time. It's the Falcon Eye that will be coming out. So this is 316 stainless steel. You can see all the specs here. Uh, dome, curved, K1 mineral crystal glass. Uh, and it has anti-glare treatment uh, on both sides. Um, really just a really good looking watch in general. And it is a very nice size. 41 millimeters is perfect in my mind. Uh, and, and I think it looks really, really good. Uh, Miyota 9039, which is their higher end movement. Uh, 24 joules. 4 hertz, which is really great. Hacking seconds. Accuracy, minus 10 to plus 30. And a 42 hour power reserve. Uh... You know, and it says here, exclusive custom design rotor. I really think that with with putting all the specs on this sheet, and, and you can see there, all of it's right there. And you can pause this if you really want to take a look at, at this, that strap the NBR high durability synthetic rubber quick release custom made spring bar rivet keeper. Um, you know, the designer of this watch is the head designer of of Timex and it's just they've gone all out on this watch they wanted to put a mineral uh, a, a sapphire crystal they ended up putting a mineral crystal but the strap is just really really cool like nothing you've seen on another watch it's something that you would see on like maybe a smart watch it's it's really kind of cool you could hear the movement a little bit it's kind of loud but not that bad but let's get close on this case. Look at that. It is really nice. And the dial. I mean, come on. Amazing. And and they're definitely taking on micro brands here because you're they're putting in a very commonly used uh movement from a micro brand. They're putting on a a a, a custom made rotor because it looks good. Um, and obviously they're putting all these little details and that's what a lot of micro brands are known for. It's those little details, that extra that you get for the money. So let's talk about money. This is a $450 watch. Now that's a lot of money from Timex, but I got a discount on this on the day it was released. How did I do that? I just signed up with Timex, uh, put my email in. I have a few different emails. I put one of my emails in they immediately send you an email giving you 15% off. So if you like this watch and you want to get this watch, or really any Seiko, uh, Timex that, Seiko's on my mind, any Timex that uh, is being released, um, sign up for an email with one of your email addresses, if you have more than one that, that's helpful, and you'll get 15% off your first purchase. And that's what I did. I got 15% off my purchase. Really, just a beautiful, beautiful watch. And that's, by the way, that's the second time I've done that. So, 
Uh, Timex, please don't get mad at me, but that's the second time I've done it. I did it with the original Q as well. They they do not, like a lot of different companies, they will restrict you from applying a discount on something that's a new release. Uh, Timex does not, so I've applied 15% on both. Anyway, I will do a full review and go through all the specs, and I'll wear it for a few days and let you guys know, but I could tell you right off the bat, I really like this watch. I think it's so cool. I really think it's cool. I think if you put another name on the dial, I don't know, just name a major brand, put that name on the dial, Oris or something like that, this would be a lot more expensive. A lot more expensive. $450 is not that much for the amount of watch that you're getting here. And what I paid was less than that, obviously 15% less than that. So, uh, you know, really good deal in my eyes. Anyway, uh, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and uh, tell me what you think of this watch. Uh, I think a lot of people have ordered it. I don't think it's sold out, and I think it's pretty much readily available. I think that's crazy because this is... I gotta say, nicer than the Q-Time. It is a lot more expensive than the Q-Time, but this is a lot more watch. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon. It is very helpful and much appreciated. Thank you for logging on.